Michael, I see you're at it again, Michael. You smack head bastard, you're right. Listen, Michael, I don't give a care what you do. If you had the power to do it, why don't you do it now? Why do you wait for the winter for it? I said, look at horse here, lad. I said, I said, we can go anywhere we want. You're on the tag. Don't forget, you're standing kint by yourself. And I promise you, if you keep at it, you could come out of that rotten lane, see what's going to happen to you. Michael, you, Sonny is, is not 13. He's 17 years of age. He's getting married in Wapsie Wood there, right? You know, he's in Wapsie Wood at the moment. Whatever something different going to do, we're abroad. Jason's in Wapsie Wood. You run our Wapsie Wood. You, you can't do nothing in Wapsie Wood, anyhow. You're gone over there. You're in a tag, Michael. We know who you are. You're in Kent. But we're afraid of going around Kent because you get us taken. Because you're the biggest squealing people I've ever seen in my life. Don't tell me you didn't squeal. You squealed in hundreds of time. I got four years, Martin got six years. That's the dead as my child you did, right? And I swear in Debbie's sister, I shouldn't train your sister, because uh, I, I don't care about none of your family. Listen, the minute that the, the, one of my sons is fighting, your father has to fight me the one time. I'm going to knock him out. And I, 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 I'm going to find him around England. I know your mother's house, because you, you keep on about breaking my house. Go and break my house, I'm not in it now. Break it if you want to, but you know your mother's house, I'm going to burn it. You hear that? Now, Michael. There's Mohammed out there, six foot seven, that'll give you a backhand. And I swear, look at, a dead is my child. Our Martin said when he gets out of jail, he's beating you with one hand. And I, I tell you what I do with you, Michael. Get a hundred thousand pounds a day, and I drive back to England and you look at my car there. So we're not doctors, lad. We coppers and cars like Bowsy. You, you're only a Bowsy, Michael. You owe me five thousand pounds. You'd get twelve thousand up your father, because you had no money. He said, please don't make a show of me about the car. And I gave you five thousand pounds. You're crying outside the house. You've got the back window of your car broke. And you're saying you're the best man of all Paddy Mons' grandchildren. I'll tell you one of the most cowardly ones in London that won't answer you back. But Michael, you know where I live in London. You, you done nothing for this before. You came in about twenty five years. In a, in, a, in a couple of cars at, at about to one house to one person in a house well, you're a brave person Michael I'd, I'd beat you myself because you're good for nothing and Pa will fight you when he gets his leg better and, and Jason's child is very sick in hospital you know, he died about seven times you're on it now we didn't want to argue with you with the name of God or live off the fight with your rotten scummy teeth in you, you you sweaty bastards just as you got but, but, you could boss Todd, this is a Rolex, what you never had in your life, you knacker. This car's in Yorkshire, you're, you're only a bowsy. You owe me £5,000, I want the back of you. You tramp. And, and somebody else, uh, some of the Mohammed should answer you. You beat nobody, Michael. And I'm Martin, I swear, that if that is my child, he's going to kill you. Stone Devon, he gets out of jail.